happy morning to all of you our lesson 6 is continued yesterday i explained you that peggy and maddy both visited wanda's house situated on bogens height but they found that family has left so they started returning back very slowly on the way peggy thought that wanda had got ideas about dresses from the teasing remarks maddy did not gave any the answer she did not think so she thought seriously and took a decision not to remain silent in future if someone bullies other in her presence so we did up to this point now we proceed further it's page number 77 on saturday maddy spent the afternoon with peggy both the friends spent the afternoon together they were writing a letter to wanda petronsky what they were doing they were writing a letter to wanda it was just a friendly letter telling about the contest and telling wanda she had won in a friendly way they started writing they wrote in the letter that she had won the contest they told her how pretty her drawings were also they praised the drawings drawn by her and they asked her if she liked the wear she was living and if she liked the her new teacher they also wrote certain questions certain queries were there they asked her whether she had uh, liked the new school and what about the new teacher they had mean to say they were sorry actually they were writing a letter to feel sorry to her but their way was very general very friendly but it ended up with their just writing a friendly letter the kind they would have written to any good friend it was a general letter as one writes to any of the friends and they signed it with lots of axes for love here the symbol axes for love stands for hugs and kisses it stands for light hearted way of expressing affection a friendly manner friendship they are expressing by concluding the letter with this remark they signed it as they mailed the letter to bogens height writing please forward on the envelope what they wrote on the envelope please forward and they posted the letter to bogens height days passed and there was no answer but the letter did not come back so maybe wanda had received it they did not get any answer but what they thought that we hope that letter had not returned back to us so wanda had received that letter perhaps she was uh, so hurt and angry she was not going to answer you could not blame her but they thought that she had received the letter but she had not given the answer because she is very much hurt she is angry with us that's why she has not given the answer so we must not blame her for not answering weeks went by the still wanda did not answer time passed weeks passed but they did not get any answer peggy had began to forget the whole business and maddy put herself to sleep at night making speeches about wanda peggy forgot about this incident but what maddy did at the time of sleep she you she used to make speeches for wanda what type of speeches defending defending her means protecting 
defending her from great crowds of girls who were trying to tease a her with how many dresses have you got and before Wanda could press her lips together in a tight line the way she did before answering Maddie would cry out stop what type of speeches she is writing that if someone teases someone asks her how many dresses how many pair of shoes and before it that she closes her mouth or not gives answer I will speak what I will give answer I will protect her Maddie would cry out stop how that I will cry out stop teasing her then everybody would feel ashamed the way she used to feel ashamed her means embarrassed or you can say feel shame as she used to feel shame likewise here he is stressing okay, if I will say this stop then everyone will have the same feeling of shame now it was Christmas time and there was snow on ground what was the time Christmas time winter season month of December Christmas bells and a small tree decorated the classroom classroom was decorated with Christmas bells and a small tree on the last day of school before the holidays before winter vacations the teacher showed the class a letter she had received that morning teacher on the last day of school in the month of December she showed a letter that she had received this letter what she said you remember Wanda Petronsky the gifted little artist who won the drawing contest she made the class recall that do you remember that artist girl one who possesses the skill is known as the artist do you remember that who won the drawing contest well she has written me she has written me a letter and I am glad to know where she lives now I am happy I know where she resides because now I can send her medal I want to read her letter to you I have got her address and now I will send her deserving matter medal and now I want to read that letter to you also the class sat with sudden interest and listen intently intently means very carefully all the class there was silence and they started listening to the letter very silently very carefully dear miss Mason how are you and room 13 please tell the girls they can keep those hundred dresses because in my new house I have a hundred new ones all lined up in my closet what what she asked how are all the students in room number 13 secondly she writes that tell the girls that they can keep with them all the hundred designs of dresses that she had drawn because now she had more hundred designs in her closet I would like that girl Peggy to have the drawing of the green dress and the red with red trimmings trimming here you can say the clippings decorations with ribbons and laces what she wrote that I want that green dress may be given to Peggy that dress has the red trimmings red clippings and her friend Maddie to have the blue one blue must be given to her friend for Christmas I miss that school and my new teacher does not equalize with you further she writes that she 
misses all the classmates and the new teacher is not equal to Miss Mason. Merry Christmas to you and everybody. She also wishes Merry Christmas to each one. You are truly Wanda Petronsky. So she gave the answer. Now the way home from school, Maddie and Peggy held their drawings very carefully. Both of them took the same dresses and they held them in their hands very carefully. All the houses had wreaths and holy in the windows. Wreaths here means garlands and holy. Holy is an evergreen shrub. You can say it is a plant that has shiny dark green leaves with sharp points and red berries in the winter season. It is often used as a Christmas decoration. So there were garlands and evergreen shrub in the windows. Outside the grocery, grocery here is a grocer's store. You can say Kirana Dukan, Pansari Ki Dukan, grocery store, hundreds of Christmas trees were stacked. Stacked here means piled or you can say fastened and in the window. So in a tidy pile, all these things were kept by the grocers. Candy, peppermint, candy peppermint, sugar coated candy you can say here, sticks and cornucopias. Cornucopias are the decorative containers usually full of fruits and flowers of shiny transparent paper were stung. Stung means hung. So all these commodities in grocer shop piled and hung. The air smelled like Christmas and light shining everywhere reflected different colors on the snow. Everywhere there was lights, garlands, decorations and all these things reflected different colors on snow. Boy said Peggy, this shows she really likes us. What she said, it shows that she has given the answer even she has suggested to give the dresses. So it seems that she really likes us. It shows she got our letter and this is her way of saying that everything is all right and that is that, that she has answered. It seems that she thinks that everything is all right and it is her way to answer. I hope so, said Maddie sadly. In a sad tone, she replied, I hope so. I also wish so. She felt sad because she knew she would never see the little tight-lipped polished girl again and could not ever really make things right between them. Why? She was sad, Medi was sad because now she knew that I, that I won't be able to see Wanda again, to meet Wanda again and I won't get a chance to say sorry to her. So I am leaving here students. Now I am giving you certain questions. What you have to do, you have to read the page number 77 and uh, short questions I am giving you, you have to write the answers. Question number one, who wrote the letter and to whom was it written? Question number two, did they get any reply very soon? Question number three, what made them think that Wanda had received the letter? Question number four, why did they think that Wanda was not going to answer their letter? Question number five, how did Peggy react to that delay 
in Wanda's reply. Question number six. Question number six is, what was what was thought out what was thought out by Medi at night. Question number seven. What did the teacher show the class on the last day of school before the holidays. Question number eight. Find out Find out the word which means made something. more attractive. So these are the eight questions. Read page number 77 carefully and answer these questions. You can draw more questions from page number 77. Develop this ability students draw the questions and try to give the answers. It will become easier for you to understand the lesson. Another thing I may tell you that while you listen the video, keep the books in your hands, I give the meanings of all the difficult words. So learn the meanings of all those difficult words also. Thank you. Have a nice day.